SG Marine provides a long-awaited product line to solve two of marine owners' biggest headaches, corrosion and maintenance upkeep. In this instructional video, we will demonstrate the application of SGM-1003 on a pontoon. So let's get started. The application of all our products is an easy process that anyone can do, but it's important to follow the instructions carefully for best results. When applied properly, the results will exceed the performance of traditional coating systems with less application hassles and difficulties. Before starting your project, be sure to prepare according to the instructions found in the technical and safety data sheets. When applying SGM-1003, make sure you have appropriate light to secure a perfect finish, a well-ventilated area without direct wind, protection from weather and direct sun, protective disposable gloves, protective glasses and clothing, spark ignition free zone minimum 10 feet and prevent any water from coming into contact with the surface during the curing time. Now you need to determine the method of application that will be used. Microfiber towel, applicator pad, spray gun, either air or airless. To avoid activating too much product and disturbing the storage stability, you need to determine the approximate surface area to be covered that same day. A 300 milliliter kit covers approximately 480 square feet, or 45 square meters. This is equivalent to a 36 inch diameter by 25 foot two bullet pontoon boat, or a 25 inch diameter by 25 foot three bullet pontoon boat. If covering less than 2,500 square feet per day, that's roughly five boats per day, the 300 milliliter kit with the microfiber towel or applicator pad should be used. For higher volumes, a spray gun could be used and then a different size packaging could be more appropriate. If the method of application is the applicator pad, the microfiber towel is still suggested to use around trimmings and hard to reach areas. It's also a very precise tool to use when you want to apply it close to other surfaces you don't want to treat without the need of masking. When utilizing the applicator pad, a paint tray should be used to hold the product and to dip the applicator pad. When dipping the applicator pad, be sure to soak the product into the pad, but most excess product should be pressed out. For the microfiber towel, you can use a small alcohol-resistant container for dipping. Avoid saturating the microfiber directly from the bottle as contamination will become a risk. For best results, surface preparation is a must. After the cleaning, or polishing if you have chosen to polish your tubes, and the surface is completely dry, wipe down the surface with denatured alcohol to assure the surface is free of oil, base materials, or cleaners. For new boats, the only required step is to wipe down the surface with denatured alcohol to clean away any oil-based materials on the surface. Allow the surface to completely evaporate the alcohol and to collect the moisture in the air before application. Minimum time is five minutes. It's now time to mix the base product, pre-measured quantity in the 300 milliliter bottle, and the activator, pre-measured quantity in the 60 milliliter bottle. First, open the activator. Pour the contents into the open base product. Close the base product and shake for one minute generously, not too aggressively as to create bubbles. Let it sit for about one minute and shake again for one minute. Again, generously, not too aggressively. If the applicator method is the microfiber towel or the applicator pad, pour contents into the paint tray or small alcohol resistant container, and then get started. We would recommend that you fold the microfiber towel into thirds the lines of the towel are going perpendicular to your application. This will help avoid leaving streaks from the stitch pattern or dry parts of the microfiber towel. First, start by applying to the edges close to rubber rub rails, trimmings, or bottom paint to assure you're not reacting these materials and possibly contaminating your surface. This step assures complete coverage by blending into the rest of the body of the pontoon. Moving into the rest of the aluminum surface, Apply it from side to side, from top down, in four foot by four foot sections at a time, in a snake-like format. Overlap slightly. 
Every so often, look at the surface from the side to assure that you are not missing any spots. If you miss a spot, simply go back over the section or immediately touch up that spot. It is important to do this immediately before the surface begins to dry. Continue this process until each section is complete. As you can see, it will be easy to notice which sections have been covered, shiny versus not covered, dull. Proceed to the next section in the same way and overlap the previous section slightly, wet and wet. You have approximately 5 minutes to gel time on the surface, so make sure you are working systematically for an even result. The trick is to create an even, wet, mirror-like surface. The aluminum will hold onto the material it needs. Anything more will run off the surface. Try to find that balance of how much to put on the surface without runoffs or streaking. Using the applicator pad is just as easy as the microfiber towel. Back and forth, in the snake-like format, in 4x4 four four foot sections. Always check your progress by looking at the surface from the side to assure no spots have been missed. Finding a systematic pattern will help eliminate missed spots or streaking. When working on welded sections, go the direction of the weld to assure complete coverage. A standard electric, airless spray gun can be utilized in a well-ventilated area. It should be set at the low pressure setting, allowing very close application to the surface. This will help eliminate exposure to humidity coming into contact with the atomized spray. Exposure to water before the curing period starts is not good. Please take notice that this is a flammable liquid and all necessary precautions should be taken when spraying with an electric airless spray gun. That's it! Now allow the treatment to fully react with the aluminum. Make sure nothing touches the surface before it's hard to the touch. Depending on the climate, this could be 25 to 60 minutes. The pontoon will be safe to store outside after 6 to 8 hours and allow 48 hours before putting the pontoon back into the water. A completely reacted and fully cured protection is achieved after 7 days. Your boat is now protected for several years against corrosion and microorganisms, utilizing our proprietary and environmentally friendly product lines. This application is the same for all bare aluminum marine surfaces, ladders, handles, or carriers. So put any excess product to use in these areas and simply dispose of the empty aluminum cans in the recycling bin after completed. We hope that you found this video helpful and we look forward to working with you.